What's up you guys? Back today with another shipment. Um, as I promised, it's Tuesday now and okay, that was terrible. Anyway, it doesn't I'm just gonna focus. cut that part out. Alright, so we're just gonna jump right into it. You guys can uh, guess what it is, you know, leave it in the comments. Comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we're just gonna slice away at this. I'm actually really excited about this one. I saw it at a reptile show. Um, when was it? April? No, April was like last month. February? It yeah. was a few months ago, basically. And I really wanted it. And then this guy behind the camera over here talked me out of getting it. Um, so I hate him for that. But luckily I found it, and I even got it for cheaper than it was at the show. I paid, um, I'm not going to say how much because that's always embarrassing. So it was better to wait, right? So shut up. I still hate you. <laughs> Could have had this two months ago. And right down the middle. But I ended up paying $75. Okay, this is awful. $75 less for the animal, but then $40 was for shipping. Why is your killer knife not doing shit against this box? Don't tell people that's my killer knife. <laughs> it's the lack of gains. All right. So here we have it. So as you can see, it's a nice albino um, piece of styrofoam. Oh my god, it's amazing. Get it on there. So you probably can't tell what it is right now, but as soon as I take it out, oh, this guy's fast. A paradise flying snake. These guys can actually literally fly through the air. Wings will, wow, spurred from their backs. It's skittish. Yeah, it is skittish. Wow. Stress. And strike full. Use the, use the knife. It's all good. Shit. Sorry. We're going to cut that part out because I didn't just do that. Go from the corner. So this is an import, I believe, from like Thailand. Something like that. Right. We're gonna use it to feed our king cobras. Yeah, it's KC food. Wow. Sorry, I'm like shaking the box like crazy trying to get this tape off. All right, and now we open it. Should I open it? I don't know. Just put it, put it in there. Should and we do it in a more confined area, like a bathtub? No, it'll go down the drain. We can go in the... In wow, the okay, get in on this. Look at those colors. Wow. It's amazing. Okay. Alright, so I'm about to put my hand in there, which I'm kind of scared of because they're rear fang, slightly venomous. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to try and get it to... Ooh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Get it, get it, get it. Get it. It's going to fly. Okay. <laughs> All right, this guy's going <laughs> wild. Okay, gotta get a hand on it. <laughs> he hasn't bitten me, so that's good. Uh, but he is really scared, really skittish, really fast. Um, but yeah, yeah, I think he's starting to calm down a little bit. He's not thrashing around anymore. But yeah, amazing colors on this thing. It's all right, so this guy, he's calmed down quite a bit I'm now. still not calm, dude. Not you. The flying snake. And we decided to name him or her, I'm not really sure yet, Rambo. Because it's like a rainbow, but the name Rainbow is kind of gay. Not that hey, there's anything that's wrong with that. Hey, totally okay. It's Being 2017. It's totally cool. But, um, you know, Rambo is just a little bit cooler than being gay. Well, wow, this is actually going to be a really offensive video. Okay. I'm offended. <laughs> yeah, so now we're probably just going to uh, go get the setup for it from a pet store, which we probably should have done before getting it, but we didn't because we're irresponsible as fuck. Why are you saying we? 
This was your idea. Whatever. Why am I getting lumped into we, your irresponsibility? <laughs> oh, why are you getting lumped into my irresponsibility? Hello, sir. What's in this box over here that you've had since yesterday? Uh, I caught those today. <laughs> Let's take a look. If I can open this ever. Yeah, you can't because there's nothing in there. There's actually going to be nothing in there because they're going to have to Nothing. Escape. It's empty. Wow, how did you do that? It's almost like they like went through the bottom of the freaking box over here. Will you leave my pets alone? They're not your pets. You're harassing them. We found these uh, by a creek outside my house yesterday. From a reputable source in South Dallas. What do you have to say about yourself and your lack of care for... Hey. Reptiles. They're being very well taken care of. What They're the hell feeding are on you pinkies talking? and fuzzies. <laughs> Where? They ate the pinkies. I fed oh, them. I think I see one. Look, it's I don't over. have a pinky anymore. They ate it. Wow. What see, a nice guy. The things guy. I do for my animals. The things he does for his animals. Awesome enclosure, 10 out of 10. Would recommend. It's quite pricey though, not gonna lie. You yeah, better I bought, it from, this I brought it from PetSmart. It cost about... $250. Did you bought it from PetSmart or did you brought it from PetSmart? What did I say? You Either said way. Both. <laughs> Either way, okay. I brought it here from PetSmart, didn't I? <laughs> All right. So this is the setup we have for him. I have a, a big water dish down here for him to soak in, some branches. We're gonna put a 50 watt on here. Collected some of these from outside, but it's all good because you don't use pesticides, right? <laughs> right? What'd you say? Yep. No You're pesticide right. use? No, no pesticide, pesticide use at all. Oh my goodness. I don't want to bite you. Does it bite? Only a little. I'm squeezing it a little. It's fine. If you don't, it's going to hurl itself out of your hand. You don't move. This looks cool. What? Yeah. All right, so we're just gonna bring this here so that mishap doesn't happen again. Where he like flew out. Who got bit? No one got bit, he just, oh, <gasps> that happened. He's gonna fly. Oh, look at that <gasps> flight. Wanna see him climb? Let's see if he finds his water bowl. All right, I'm just gonna try and put him higher up this time so he kind of, He just doesn't seem to get it. No, you climb the branches to go up into your arboreal nature. And we're just gonna release these guys back into the wild. There they are. Got one of them. There you go, little guy. We got plenty of places to hide over here. So there's plenty of bugs out here also. Yeah, I just found him uh, under a tarp uh, by my house, this creek next to my house. God damn it. All right, so here's number two. Go ahead. This one's on the move. Oh, he just decided to go under the box, yeah. These guys love to hide, actually. Chances are if you flip, um, pretty much anything, anywhere, there's a pretty good chance you could find some. They're called rough earth snakes. Pretty cool, they stay about this small. Oh, this one's really small. Look at it. Oh. It's going crazy. Just let him down here. So yeah, there's one, two, and three. And they def this one's off. There it goes. Definitely just musked all over the place, but it's all good. All right, and I think that will draw this video to a close. Here's one more look at the Paradise Flying Snake, if it'll focus. Paradise. Give you a taste of Jannah. That's what it looks like up there. What's that? You wouldn't know. I'm atheist.